Hi there, just going to take us for a walk around this Volkswagen e-golf. Looks really smart in the, the dark blue with those Madrid alloy wheels. Um, I do like them with the upgraded alloys. I do tend to favour those when I can find them. Obviously most uh, e-golfs have sort of aero wheels and they don't look anything like as smart uh, and certainly don't, you know, this car deserves to look much more sporty. So I, I do think the Madrid alloys do make it. Um, obviously got a 35 kilowatt hour battery, which is going to give this car around about but broadly speaking about 130 miles worth of driving range depending on time of year and your preferred style of driving. Um, this car's only got 25,000 miles on the clock so yeah nice decent low miles and it's going to go out with a fresh service and a fresh MOT so it's not going to be needing either of those things until December 2024. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go around the car and I'll point at any little marks there are. Do excuse a bit of moisture starting to gather on the car. We're getting towards the end of the day now and it's going to be rather cold. So all the moisture in the air is starting to condense on the cars. Um, but not enough to sort of disguise anything. And actually, to be fair, there's, there's barely a mark on the car anyway. Um, and it seems to be condensing on the bonnet and the roof and not the sides yet. So that's good. So it's smart in the blue with those alloys. Popular seller, the e-golfs. I think the obviously the familiarity of it as a vehicle plus the you know the refined nature of its drive. I mean, if you haven't driven an e-golf, you really should. It is actually sublimely good. Ever so smooth, ever so refined, handles great. All these alloys are looking good so far. It's good to see. Got a tiny little, tiny little stone, couple of stone chips there on the passenger side door. Um, that's pretty much all I've managed to see so far. And there's a very minor little bit of marking on the edge, just there, on the passenger side front. Oh, it's always the one that gets marked. It's the one that hits the curb when people are parking, but um, it's only a very, very minor mark. Really, only notice that up close when you're looking hard. Um, there may well be a stone chip or two, possibly. Although nothing, nothing stands out. Oh, there's a little stone chip there, the very tip of the bonnet. But that again is about it. So, I mean, overall, I think you're going to have to say this is a very, very nice condition car. Just a couple of tiny little marks on it. Nothing of any consequence, though. Yeah, all nice and tidy inside. Nice car, the Golf's got very nice adaptive cruise control. The infotainment system's really nice as well. Comes with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you've got reversing sensors, uh, front and rear, um, auto hold, electronic handbrake. Uh, and the all important thing, which I think is that Golf Drive. Like I say, this does car does drive ever so nicely. Nice and practically sized as well. You know, there's a reason I think why the Golf historically has always been the best selling car. It just ticks a lot of boxes. This is a nice practical medium size uh, package. Decent enough size boot, split seats, pull through hatch as well, adding to practicality. Uh, and in that boot we'll put a three pin charging lead like we do with all our cars. So this car will come supplied with a lead that you can plug into any normal domestic main socket. So you can charge the car from that so you don't necessarily even need to get a charge point installed. Uh, and there you go. This is a really nice e-golf. Um, sits at a nice price point, uh, it's got low miles as well, um, and it looks great. Looks nice in the blue with those Madrid alloys, I think that's uh, a really nice combination. Uh, but anyway, if you're looking for an e-golf, this could well be the perfect car for you. And this car's here on the forecourt, ready for a test drive reviewing. Uh, alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Uh, thank you very much for watching, uh, and be sure to watch our, um, our e-golf videos on our website and our YouTube channel. Hopefully you'll find those helpful as well, and, and hopefully we'll speak to you soon.